Welcome to The Right Stuff from Goldspot Pens, a podcast that guides you from pen noob to aficionado in less than 20 minutes. I'm your host, Tom Otto. In this episode, I'll reveal the top five pens of July, top five inks, a pen that you'll have to smell to believe, and the latest addition to my pen collection. Last, I'll give away something on my desk. Look, I know you're all curious about the top five pens of July, but I bet you're even more curious to know which pen I just recently added to my personal collection. My latest addition is the Leonardo Momento Zero Grande 2.0 in Jonathan Brooks' Primary Manipulation 1 Glossy Finish. I know, that's a whole lot of a name for a pen. But years ago, I missed out on the first ever Leonardo and Brooks pen collaboration using this material, Primary Manipulation 1. I've been kicking myself ever since. So when Leonardo announced that they would combine the vibrant, swirly acrylic resin with the large piston fill design of the Momento Zero Grande 2.0, how could I not? So here's why this pen checks all the boxes for me. First of all, you've got the Jonathan Brooks Primary Manipulation 1, which is one of the most distinctive, artistic, and colorful materials used for making pens. Each pen made of Primary Manipulation 1 has a unique swirling color palette that gives it personality and a uniqueness that truly makes it one of a kind. And with this addition, you could choose between a soft, matte texture, or a glossy polish finish. And I opted to go with the glossy because I felt that the glossy polished finish allows the colors to be more vibrant, more translucent, and just stand out a lot better than the matte. Although I really did like the matte, and I liked the matte for the unique soft texture. It was very appealing to hold, uh, but the polished was the way to go for me. It may be different for you, or maybe you'd like both. And since this is a Momento Zero Grande, it is a piston filling model of which you activate the piston mechanism by turning the blind cap here. And it also has an ink window, so you could see the amount of ink left in your pen. And has a fairly good amount of ink capacity. It's 1.5 milliliters of ink that you could hold here. So it's great for being able to write long term and not have to fill this pen up very often. Although you may have to fill it a little bit more often if you decide to go with the 14 karat gold nib and ebonite feed. I opted to go with the stainless steel nib option, which actually makes this pen a lot more affordable than I think a lot of the other Brooks acrylic type limited editions that Leonardo releases because this is the first time I think that they've done it in a steel nib. Uh, but the steel nib has an ABS plastic feed. It's a Yovo number no. six nib done in the La Fenice nib design. Available in a wide array of options. You've got extra fine through broad, 1.5 millimeter stub, and an elastic uh, nib option in either fine or extra fine. And of course, there's the limited nature of this pen, which I always love getting into some limited editions because then they usually appreciate in value. And this edition was only made with 623 pens and the edition number is engraved very subtly, not filled in on the back of the cap. As of this recording, this pen is still currently on sale, starting at $260 for the steel nib available at Goldspot Pens. As you may know, handwriting forces us to slow down relax, and savor life's flavor. The new Bennu Talisman Lavender Fountain Pen invites you to stop and smell the pen. As with other Bennu Talisman pens, the lavender pen material is infused with its namesake. So when you open the pen, a hint of lavender scent delights and soothes. It's noticeable when you first remove the pen from its packaging and when you sniff the cap. Don't worry though, because the smell is not overpowering and won't transfer to your pen case or other pens you may have in your pen case. It's subtle and most noticeable when you sniff the inside of the cap. The Bennu Talisman Fountain Pen not only delights your sense of smell, but touch and sight as well. The lavender pen shimmers with Bennu's over-the-top resin in iridescent bluish purple with light lavender swirls. Flecks of magenta glitter dazzle the eye as the unique faceted shape of the pen catches the light. The lightweight of this resin is easy to hold and writing with the number six size stainless steel nib is smooth and satisfying. You can fill the talisman with either an international ink cartridge or converter of which both are included with the pen. The lavender edition is limited to 500 pens made worldwide with a certificate of authenticity included inside the box as well as information sheet about the mystical properties of lavender. 
you can find this new Bennu on Goldspot for a limited time at a price of $160. Since several pen pals requested that, in addition to the monthly top five pens, I do a top five inks as well. Thanks to you, I felt inspired to write a list of 2023's best-selling inks, our most popular inks, and my favorite inks, which you'll find on the Goldspot Pens blog using the link in the description below. Plus, as an added bonus, I'll share with you the most current list of July's best-selling inks here. So for July, we have Ferris Wheel Press Poison Ivy. Some people feel that shimmer inks could be poison for their pens. Apparently, a lot of you bit the apple anyway. This new Ferret Tales ink is a rich purple with yellow sheen and a greenish shimmer. Then we have Wearing Yule's Dracula, a captivating crimson hue like a vampire bite that pierces through the night. It has a velvety texture that glistens in the light, and its deep hue is offset by the addition of shimmering blue glitter that hints at a chill beneath the surface. And of course, we have a perennial bestseller in J. Urban's 1670 anniversary Emerald of Shavor. The anniversary collection is the OG shimmering ink that continues to dazzle and delight with its saturated, sheeny, and shimmery appearance. Diamine Celadon Cat is the 2023 special edition selected by members of the subreddit community r slash fountain pens along with sailor's warning which is another ink but it seems that this blue gray color with hints of green is the fan favorite of the two inks and we have another ferris wheel press ink rounding out the top five which is tumultuous tides they capture our imagination again with this sea themed ferret tales ink it's a teal color with silver shimmer and a hint of black sheen so now we have the question of the week, which is ink related from Ink Diaries who asks, if you could only choose one brand of ink to use, what brand would that be and why? So if I had to choose only one brand of ink, I would choose Sailor. Reason number one, color variety. With Ink Studio, Manyo, 50 States Inks, Shiki Ori, and Yuri Meku collections, there are hundreds of colors to pick from in that range from sailors lighter shading colors to deep and sheeny with new sailor inks being introduced on a monthly basis i'll never be bored with sailor selection and number two despite having so many colors sailor strives to make every single ink unique and have special properties that you can't find anywhere else and last number three they're always well behaved and generally easy to clean out of my pens i trust them in my piston vacuum filling pens, anything that may have an internal filling system, I'll feel safe that I'll put a Sailor ink in it and it won't stain or give me issues with drying out or having flow issues over time. And now what you've been waiting for, here's a rundown of this month's top five pens. First though, a quick disclaimer. These top five pens are based on sales, likes, comments, and customer reviews on goldspot.com during July, 2023. This isn't my personal top five list or a greatest of all time list. It's a list created by you, the fine people of the online pen community. At number five, we have the Narwhal Voyage Copacabana Fountain Pen. This shimmering beach themed pen dances way into the fifth spot on this month's list. For this gold spot exclusive design, we commissioned Starry Night Resins to produce handmade rods of this shimmering resin to look like tropical ocean waves washing on a sandy beach. Narwhal made the pen into the oversized piston filling Nautilus design, trimming it in silver appointments and attaching an in-house stainless steel nib. This limited edition of 150 pieces is still available for $160. The Sailor British Racing Green is back in the top five. We originally introduced this exclusive design Sailor Professional Gear back in 2020 with great success. This year we decided to bring back the racing inspired dark emerald green pen in the regular size version with a 21 karat gold nib. Our pen pals rejoiced that this style is available once again, especially at the older price, which means you can find the British Racing Green on sale for $312, which is $80 less than other exclusive edition Pro Gear regular fountain pens. At the third spot is another out of this world pen collaboration from the Ohio based Edison Pen Co. Made using Stormwind's Creation Pen Blanks, the Blue Nebula Newark fountain pen was a popular pick this month. The Blue Nebula has swirls of blue, pink, purple, and white with holographic glitter twinkling throughout. Not many pens of this 88 piece numbered limited edition are left. Find it only on Goldspot Pens for $199. At the runner up slot, we have the smash hit. Retro 51 Tornado Popper Dino Smash Rollerball Pen. This pen is a complete surprise to Retro 51 collectors since you don't know which of the three designs you'll receive. 
The Dino Smash is limited to 1,253 pieces, of which only 151 of the Glow in the Dark Nocturnal style exist. 351 of the green and pink Gregarious style, and 751 pens of the orange and blue Smithereen style. Our pen pals enjoyed the fossil hunting expedition so much that we no longer have any Dino Smash pens, although a few Dino Smash rickshaw pen sleeves are still left. If you're looking for a couple of collectible Retro 51s, I suggest looking at a few runner-up pens that narrowly missed this month's top five list. Regardless of whether you watch Barbie or Oppenheimer during opening weekend, you'll love the cinema-themed Movie Night Retro 51 Rollerball Pen. This design was the winner of last year's Retro 51 Tornado Art Contest and is the perfect companion for Cinephile. If your idea of a summer vacation is traveling to far-off destinations, then punch a ticket for Writing Paradise with the Retro 51 Tornado Pan Am Hawaii Poster Rollerball Pen. This is the first officially licensed edition made with the legendary Pan Am brand. And at number one, our pen pals love a good mystery. And if a mystery Retro 51 Rollerball pen wasn't enough, our customers went crazy for our second mystery dip of 2023. For this release, we made 150 boxes of which sold out in a few days. For this box, we included the Laban Gloria fountain pen in either the ruby red or the sapphire blue. This pen is arguably the most luxurious pen we've included in a mystery dip yet. The Gloria has a solid metal base that is guilloche engraved with a three-dimensional pattern, then lacquered to create a depth and luster that catches the light beautifully. Gold-plated appointments, grip section, and stainless steel nib complete the distinguished look of this design. Overall, recipients of the mystery dip are loving the surprise and the value of the box contents, which also included five Le bon ink samples with the pen. July's Mystery Dip earned 18 five-star reviews, including this one from Tara M, who writes, I was blown away by the pen I received. I love the fact that I got a brand I hadn't heard of before, both pen and inks. I'll definitely get another mystery box in the future. One of the biggest reasons why our customers love the Mystery Dip is that they receive an extraordinary pen at an equally extraordinary price. The Levon Gloria Fountain Pen retails for $260, but Mystery Dippers got their pens for only $129, including the ink samples. We hope you will enjoy us in the future for our next Mystery Dip Box coming in September. Sign up for our email newsletter to make sure you don't miss any of our new releases, exclusive pen drops, and special deals. So there you have it, folks, your top five pens of July 2023. To recap, we have at number five, the Narwhal Voyage Copacabana. At number four, the Edison Newark Blue Nebula. Number three, Sailor Pro Gear British Racing Green. And number two, not shown here, Retro 51 Dino Smash. And number one, the Mystery Dip box, which included the Le bon Gloria. So congrats are in order to Ink Diaries for being picked as the question of the week. Ink Diaries won a new diary in the Rhodia web notebook provided in last week's giveaway. For this week's prize, we have a prototype Retro 51 Pan Am Rollerball Pen. This particular pen does not have AP or the number engraved on the top ring. To enter for a chance to win this pen, you must be subscribed to the Goldspot Pens channel, like this video, and leave a comment with a question you'd like for me to answer in a future episode. If I answer your question, you'll win. Thank you for checking out this week's episode of the Write Stuff Podcast by Goldspot Pens. Now go out there, put your pen to paper, and write stuff. Until next time, stay inky, my friends. Take care.